SK300 service procedure. All SK300 humidifiers are programmed for a thousand hours operation in the factory. By pressing the menu button several times, you will bring up on the digital display both the hours run and the service hours parameters. After a thousand hours of operation, the red LED check light will begin to flash on off on the front panel below the digital display, advising you that it is time to do a service. It will continue flashing for a period of 50 extra hours of operation, at which point the check light will stay on all the time. The humidifier will continue to perform with the check light on, but be aware that a service on the unit should be performed soon. With the power still on, drain the water from the boiling chamber by pressing the rocker switch on the front panel of the humidifier to the down drain position. This will activate the drain valve or pump. After the humidifier drains down, there is still a small quantity of water in the bottom of the basin. Let the chamber cool down. Remove the power supply at the disconnect switch or the breaker. Disconnect the power connector to the heating elements. These are the brown Bakelite connectors on the large units or the black round screw-on connector on the smaller units. Remove the small clip-on connector at the level sensor board located on the chamber cover. Disconnect the white plastic connector wired to the high temperature thermodisc safety cutout located on the cover of the chamber. Loosen the clamp or clamps that connect the flexible steam hose to the stainless steel boiling chamber with a 5 16 nut driver or standard screwdriver and pry the hose off the steam outlet of the humidifier. With an adjustable wrench and an 11 16 inch key clamped on the brass fill drain connection, unscrew the brass compression nut and slide it back. Slide out the stainless steel boiling chamber. Remember, there is still several inches of water in the chamber so tilt it slightly to prevent any water spillage as you take it out. Pour out the remaining water into a drain or sink close by. Undo the clamps that secure the chamber cover and remove the cover with the heating elements intact. Take note of the round level sensor shroud or tube that protects the level sensor. If previous to the service shutdown the level sensor has operated well and not shown any error, either probe defect or overheat, it is not necessary to remove it for cleaning. Leave it as is. Refer to the level sensor video for further information. Remove the mineral residue that has accumulated at the bottom of the boiling chamber. It is not necessary to scrape off the walls of the chamber. Just remove the rigid deposits and rinse the chamber with water. Do not use any acid or vinegar. Make sure the fill drain aperture at the bottom side of the chamber is not blocked. Do not clean the elements. They are self-cleaning. The mineral deposit or coating that adheres to the elements break off slowly and fall to the bottom of the chamber. Check the condition of the rubber gasket around the lip of the chamber. If torn or frayed or hardened, replace it with a new gasket and secure the cover back onto the chamber. Mount the boiling chamber back into the unit and attach and tighten the fill drain connector. Reconnect the steam hose and the three electrical connectors, level sensor, thermodisc, and heating elements. Make sure all are in place. Power up the humidifier. If you see that you have forgotten to put on the white level sensor connector, remove the power before you reconnect it. To reset the unit after servicing, first press the test button on the main PC board, followed by the reset button. In that order, test, then reset. When you first press the test button, the unit will go to a drain and the drain LED on the front panel will be on. Then press the reset button. The humidifier should now be in the automatic mode and will commence to fill with water if there is a demand from the humidity controller. In order to erase the red LED check light after servicing is complete, go to Hours Run in the menu and hold down the up and down arrows simultaneously for 20 seconds 
or until the hours are zeroed. Check the drain cycles by pressing the menu button until drain hours appears in the digital display. It should be set for every four hours of operation. This is the factory default setting and should be respected for city water. After four hours of boiling, the water in the boiling chamber is a changed fluid and has become heavily laden with minerals in solution and must be diluted with a drain cycle, otherwise the operation efficiency and humidity output is hampered. If for any reason you require help or have some inquiries, feel free to call us. Thank you.